people come from nothing and over time they're able to build brands which impact people. So in my, in, in my mind I thought this will be a good opportunity for me to set up something which will impact very many people in this, not, not only in Kenya, not only in Africa, but around the globe. The name of the company came upon, we were basically looking at our core business, right? So this is some advice also I would advise maybe to young, young entrepreneurs. When you're buying a domain name, you need to figure out what does your business do. For example, for us, Buy Domain Kenya came because, you know, we sell domains. That's our core business. So in the name of the brand, we made sure that, you know, we are buying, buy is there, our domain name is there, and the name of the country is also there. So for example, uh, we have a, have a brand called 254.k, we have one called shamba.k. So when you're buying a domain, you need to have it very close to whatever business you're doing. So how, how Google or search engines do their ranking is they look at what, what people are searching. So we sat down and analyzed and saw that what do people search for when they're buying domains. So the keywords were mostly buy, domain and Kenya. So we combined that and, and that became our business. Uh, I'll be very honest, we've never raised funds for any, for any of the business. We've started from scratch. Uh, we used to go knocking on people's business, or no, people's, no, knocking on people's businesses. Uh, we would take a flight, uh, you know, like uh, a building. At that time, they were laying out fiber. So there was a whole list of all the buildings that what were being laid out with fiber. So we use that as a, as a template. So we will say, okay, fine. Today we'll go to CBD and these are the number of buildings we'll hit. And we'll start downstairs and come down or go to the topmost floor and just talk to people coming down bit by bit. And that's how we started the business. Realized that some times we even did work for free because what we were doing was not really looking for money. We're just trying to establish uh, up the brand. You know, people need to say, we associate this good work with this brand. But without opportunity, without an opportunity to, to showcase what you're able to do, people cannot see. So you're able to sell when people go to your website. For example, right now, if you go to bdk.ke, that's, that's our domain. If you go through the portfolio, even without us saying a single word, word you're able to say, okay, fine, these guys do business with Action Aid, they do business with the government, they do business with Uriah Trust. Those are major brands. So based on that, it gives us a bit of opportunity, or gives us a bit of leverage for people to say, okay, fine. If they're able to do business with these guys, they've been in business for this long, I think that they're the right people to do business with us. So initially, it wasn't even looking about, it wasn't looking for money as such. It was about establishing the brand. And we were very careful about sourcing for funds because we didn't want to dilute our shareholding. Uh, we didn't want to basically bring people for the sake of money. We weren't that greedy. So, you realize the first few years, we weren't really making a lot of uh, profit or whatever. It was really tough. Uh, payroll was an issue, office rent was an issue, even my own personal home paying was an issue. Um, at that time, I got my first car, paying for the loan was a big issue. So those are the troubles which we came, we came through to where we are right now. Uh, but it's a blessing because uh, right now the brand has grown. We are not as big as Google or the other brands, but we are trying. So our concept has been, let's grow, but very slowly. So whatever we get is what we used to grow. We've never gone and taken a loan to establish the brand. If, for example, we have to work from home, well, that's what we do initially to get the brand where it is. If people have to work remotely, that's what we do. So we've been very careful about uh, how we spend money. We have not been so extravagant. I think we got an office in Westlands almost for five, six years of doing business. That's when we got our first 5,000 square feet of, of space. So to be very honest, we've not really engaged investors. At, to date, we still get offers. People call us from different areas, send us emails, and they want to be part of the brand. They tell, okay, fine, Adam, how much did you make in the last three years? Can we give you five times that? But as in, that's not what we're going for. We want to develop a brand that will We'll, we really don't want to grow so fast. We don't we want to grow at the right amount or the, the right pace, uh, knowing very well we have a very solid foundation, right? We don't want to pile up on things, look so grand, but in real sense, we are empty inside. So to me, this has really worked. And I also encourage people who are starting business not to be so quick to take people's money, just to be careful who they interact with. Um, slow is better. Mm -hmm.